Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number three. Hey, this is a series where we learn how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how we can create multi-conditional formulas for 2003 and other earlier versions to some count and average and then we're going to compare them to the D formulas the database formulas that are built in and we'll time them and we'll see which one is faster now you can't use these database uh, functions unless you have your data set up like a database which in fact a lot of data is so a lot of people out there are using some product or, or various other formulas and their data is set up like this and they could just be using the database functions alright let's start this off we're gonna add we have three criteria so equals some product and I'm gonna do open parentheses and I'm gonna go get the sales rep data so I click on the top cell, control shift down arrow, and then I'm going to hit F4 to not only to lock it, uh, but have the screen jump back up. Now we don't really need it locked, but that jumping back up the screen is quite nice. Equals uh, this person right here, close parentheses, and then we'll multiply. Notice we could have done our double negative as I've seen in uh, the first video. Uh, open parentheses, go over and get our customer, control shift down arrow, F4 equals Fred Meyer close parentheses times open parentheses and then we'll go over and get our product click on the top cell control shift down arrow F4 equals this one right here close parentheses times and finally we have to get our sales numbers control shift down arrow F4 and we have a uh, close parenthesis so and this is we're using some products so we don't have to hit control shift enter we just hit enter now how do we count now watch this I love this trick if you're counting and summing just uh, put this uh, first formula in edit mode scoop it out highlight copy escape click in the cell F2 control V and then we can just get rid of uh, this last little part times the sales because the act of multiplying trues times true times true will give us a false for every situation where there's one two three trues any other situation where there's not three trues it'll give us a zero and then I can hit enter uh, now when these come up it means I left off some parentheses I never trust these especially with big formulas because it can't guess so I always say uh, no and then I say I'll edit it click OK sure enough I have one too many parentheses alright I'll hit enter and there's 49 now how do you average now we can't use uh, uh, a straight true false uh, situation because it'll give us zero so we have to do average and then if and this is a common equals average this is a common construct when you don't want the zeros from your true false so we'll say if and then we'll do our ranges the sales rep control shift down our F4 equals this uh, chin right here then by comma and then a second if and we'll go get the uh, range for customer control shift down our F4 equals Fred Meyer then comma if and finally we need the product uh, column control shift down our F4 equals our Carlota that's the criteria so we have three ifs and then we say comma and if that's the case what do we want then we want the uh, sales column control shift down arrow F4 to jump it back up close parentheses on the if close parentheses close parentheses on an if close parentheses close you can always tell when you get to the last parentheses when there's a black uh, parentheses and then hit enter um, that didn't work because this is an array formula so I have to hold control and shift and enter alright now let's see how to do it with database functions totally much faster and when we time them our, our jaws should do drop now how do you do D functions you gotta have criteria in cells which is not a problem you um, have to have the field names here and the criteria below in our last video we'll see how to do a really complex six criteria with our 
uh, D sum, and we'll be able to see that you can actually repeat columns if you want to have uh, multiple conditions. All right, so you ready? Equals D sum. And D sum is pretty nice. It just wants the whole database, the field name you want to add, and the criteria. Ready? So we'll go get our we'll go get our uh, database. I'm going to click in the top fields and then hold Control Shift down arrow and then F4. And then the field it's sales. I never trust my typing, so I'm going to click on that sales right there. By the way, if you didn't trust your typing and then you want to convert that to an actual static. Uh, uh, word in quotes, you could then highlight and hit F9. That's calculate. Comma, and then now we just get our criteria. Now, wait a second. It can't be that easy. Look at our, our, our whole database, our field we want to sum, and then the criteria, and you hit enter. No way. Is that so easy? All right, totally amazing. Now, I'm going to click back in this cell and hit F2. I'm going to copy this whole thing, because guess what? The, it, everything's the same except for we're going to use a different function. Actually, I'll just highlight this right here. Control C, escape. Now I'm going to click in the cell and type equals D average. And I'm actually going to highlight that parenthesis and Control V. You got to be kidding me. D average. Uh, database, it's still averaging the sales, and there's the criteria. Hit enter. Actually, I'm going to uh, put this in edit mode. That's the wrong formula. Average doesn't count. D average averages. So I'm going to uh, copy that, escape, click down here, and control V. Now I'm going to delete this, and now I'm going to do equals D count. And I'm going to do that same little trick where I paste. You've got to be kidding me. Is it going to count? Uh, D count. Uh, it doesn't like. <laughs> I pasted all of that. Ready? Get rid of that. Name error means that it found a word that's um, not a function or a defined name. Enter. Now let's time these. All right, you ready? Here's this one. Um, if you didn't, if you're joining us, uh, you got to go back and watch this video to figure out how to build this timer, which is super easy. All right. So I'm gonna, and then we're going to uh, time this. I'm gonna click on this. And it should say, uh, ooh, 0.195. So I'll put 0.195 right there. Actually, I'm going to decrease the size here. All right, and now we'll time this one. 0 0.045. 0 0.045. You got to be kidding me! That is so much faster. Let's try that. Uh, let's try this one right here. Okay, this is counting. I'm going to click the timer. Uh, 0 0.039. 0 0.039. And then we'll time this one. 0 0.031. 0 0.031. All right, so that's uh, pretty close. How about this one? We'll time this one. 0 0.061. 0 0.061. And then we'll time this one. 0.00392. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of cheating because really every time you time these, uh, you're going to get a di slightly different value. And usually the first one is the longest, and then subsequent ones are a little bit uh, sh shorter in time. And so really it's best to take three of each and average them. But let's just see on this basic little uh, test here how much faster the D formulas are. I'm going to say equals the end value divided by where we started minus 1. You've got to be kidding me. 75% faster, 20% faster, 90% faster. That is just amazing. But that's the fact. If you have large spreadsheets and your data is set up in a database uh, with field names at the top, records in rows, please use the D formulas instead of your sum products and other variations because they're faster. All right. In our uh, next trick, we'll see Excel 2007 formulas and how those will even blow away the D formulas. See you next trick.